we are truly worried that there is a, a growth in uh, what I call a particular political trend in Europe, and especially in, in a number of uh, regions uh, in Europe. And this trend is the rise of populism, nationalism, and at the same time, as a consequence of that, deterioration of media freedom and lack also of political pluralism. I think there are four main reasons for this deterioration. First of all, economic reasons, legal, political reasons, and then reasons to do with the profession itself. In economic terms, the media market is distorted in Bulgaria. It's not liberal, it hasn't been liberalized. It's organized and in the hands of certain people who, following the fall of the regime, took up control of all the key economic activities in the country, including the media. And in general, we could say that the media is in the hands of the so-called grey economy. Now, it's not necessarily uh, mafia-type organizations, although sometimes it is. The basis for the newspaper industry across Europe uh, is freedom of the press. And it's essential to open and democratic debate uh, that Europe has an engaged and informed citizenship. And that's where uh, the press, the professional press, is, is really vital uh, because you cannot have self-government without a fully informed, educated uh, population. So if the press cannot function properly, uh, then that's a problem also for democracy uh, within Europe. The Union uh, of Publishers in Bulgaria is an organization which uh, defends uh, the principles and interests uh, of the publishers of uh, print media in Bulgaria, that is, newspapers, magazines. The problems uh, which have been deteriorating recently uh, have uh, been uh, raised by us uh, for a long time. There have uh, been many discussions uh, and I appeal to everybody to be aware that uh, the issue is an important one, it is emotional, and we are becoming emotional when talking about it. Because uh, freedom is, uh, an, is a crucial uh, value uh, without which there can be no democracy. The new Bulgarian media group is increasingly purchasing uh, media outlets. Now, these media outlets uh, are not an expression of free will, but they serve uh, the interests of uh, lobbyists. They serve vested interests. This is a tendency which is becoming increasingly widespread. Uh, as a result of this, the free media has a voice which is less and less heard. Financially, it is becoming uh, very difficult for us to withstand. We try to do it. Uh, because we are aware that uh, society needs us. The Union will continue to raise this issue. This is why we're here. We're here because the issue can obviously not be resolved in Bulgaria. We need to draw the attention of the outside world. We need uh, the support uh, of the European Union to finally put an end to all this. It is absurd uh, that um, millions uh, um, of Europe would go to Bulgaria on different projects and only 10% of them are actually used. The take-up rate is very low and um, when it comes to measures related to the control of the independence of journalistic work, 0% um, of the money is being taken up. Um, there are other foundations working in Bulgaria, uh, um, funding some projects, but honestly, uh, if uh, there are no measures, um, there's no way out of this. I would rather draw your attention to something which uh, I would describe as scandalous. Uh, and this is the relationship between media and power, the media and the prime minister in particular. I have been uh, in the media for 12 years now and uh, I have uh, never seen uh, such an attitude on the part of the media to the Prime Minister. It reminds me of uh, communism and of the way the media back then treated the dictator Todor Zhivkov. Uh, 
The truth is that when you complain about the situation of media freedom in Bulgaria, I feel as a European citizen that this is something that it's important for me. It matters because what happens in Hungary, what happens in Romania, my own country, you don't want to know now. Uh, trust me, <laughs> too many similarities. Um, what happens in Bulgaria, what happened in, in Italy, these are things that concern all the European citizens, in fact. We no longer act in our own isolated territories. We are all members of this big family, and what happens there affects me directly or indirectly. As far as the ethical standards are concerned, the most important thing is having a good role model, giving personal example. And uh, those people who are able uh, to give such a personal example can be found in all uh, media groups in Bulgaria. So as a journalist, um, I feel rather hurt when there are all kinds of insults hurled against our colleagues indiscriminately. Another thing worries me quite a lot. Um, very often, um, there is an abuse of this situation, and uh, practically all debate is stifled under uh, insults. The media not only shape the public opinion, uh, they create uh, the system of values. Uh, the media are at the heart uh, of uh, the system of uh, values. It is the media which uh, determine how people think. This is why it's important uh, that uh, they uh, be free. Freedom, of course, is an abstract notion. What is the criteria for media freedom? Uh, there can only be a single criterion, and this is truth. To be free means uh, to serve uh, the truth. Honestly, the major principle of journalis uh, journalistic work is to focus on the topical issues, on the serious problems. That kind of issues in uh, the area of Houston Deal, where I work, often involve uh, two people known um, as the Galevi brothers. You know very well that it was thanks to um, the pressure from the European Union that uh, um, the legal proceedings against them finally started. Uh, honestly, I've also been subjected to a lot of threats. Very recently, my car uh, was set on fire. A couple of days after I described uh, uh, the, the way um, these two brothers um, uh, ran away from uh, the country. Concrete recommendations by the end of the year are to be expected, and then it will be on how to protect and how to promote pluralism and media freedom across Europe. Hopefully, next time we meet, we can discuss those recommendations and find better ways to implement and protect our common values. And it is talking about just implementing and protecting our common values in practice in every member state. And I think we need each other to fight for those principles. And I will be on your side in the fight. Unlike Hungary, the pressure over the media does not uh, come from media regulation. Secondly, the pressure does not come by means of exercising control over public media. Why is this? The explanation is simple. The area of regulation and the area of public media are two zones, two areas which are a subject of uh, very close scrutiny. Uh, so. Each attempt at uh, interference is very quickly registered. So the 